Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a very, very exciting swatch video and I just can't wait to show you guys this new palette that Anastasia just launched. A few housekeeping things. I did change my hair. Hopefully you guys like it. I just went back to my basically my natural hair color and then added bits of blonde just to give it more dimension. So we'll see how this works out. Also ended up throwing on this really dark lip color and over drawing my lips a little bit. So if it looks a little funky, I do apologize in advance. I overdrew them accidentally. Really excited to film this so I didn't even paint my nails so my nails are super dirty. Don't judge me. Gosh, I just have so many confessions today. Okay, also announced the winner of my giveaway, the Jaclyn Hill palette. I told her I was gonna give her like 24 hours to contact me and she hasn't contacted me and this was like last Sunday. So I've just been so busy. I haven't had a chance to pick a new winner, but I will pick a new winner. So if you guys are still interested in that, I'll probably announce it on my Instagram. That's kind of the easiest place for me to put it, but otherwise I can throw it in the comments somewhere as well. If you guys are interested in finding out who the next person that won that palette is. Also, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen and I basically love to do makeup reviews. Yeah, I just got this palette and obviously I want to review it for you guys, but it's so, so new. I haven't even opened it as you can tell. So I just thought it would be fun for you guys to see some swatches on my skin tone. And maybe I'll do like a get ready with me or something this weekend, hopefully. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and dive into the new ABH subculture palette. Okay guys, so a little bit of background between me and Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm a huge fan. I have quite a few of their products, but I do love to collect their eyeshadow palettes. I've actually owned more than this. A few I have decluttered. But this is my current collection of ABH eyeshadow palettes. So every time they come out with a new one, I tend to pick it up because they tend to be limited edition and the colors are really great and usually you're getting really good value for money as far as, you know, the number of eyeshadows you get because if you were to buy their singles, they're a little bit more pricey. So I like to get the palettes because I get a ton of color variety and for kind of a less price. So this is probably the oldest one I have right now. This is the World Traveler palette and honestly, this is so pretty. If you guys have this, you know what I mean. I just love all the warm shades. Oh my gosh. Um, this shade Pink Champagne is probably one of my favorite Anastasia shadows of all time. And the shade Morocco too is a beautiful shade. It comes up every once in a while in other palettes. This is the next one that came out. This is the Self Made palette. And I unfortunately don't get a lot of use out of this one. For some reason, the colors just don't scream to me. But I was so, so excited to get this when it first launched. And of course the Master palette. Again, I don't use this enough. Could just focus on one eyeshadow palette you know I would probably use this more but I just have so many in my collection none of these get as much love as they should and then of course everyone knows the modern renaissance palette so the subculture palette is supposed to be the sister palette to the modern renaissance as you can see I've gotten quite a bit of use out of it it's completely dirty there is shadow everywhere that is something you do want to keep in mind there is quite a bit of kick up with these shadows but you just need to remember to dust off your brush and you will have minimum fallout on your face. Anastasia does put a lot of thought into them and yeah I just think this is such a good palette. Some of my favorite shades from this are Bone Fresco, I love Raw Sienna, I mean just all of these shades are really really great and this is like the most legendary like palette um, from Anastasia I would say because at one time like everyone was talking about this palette and I'm glad they came out with a new one I think it's nice because right now a lot of eyeshadow palettes are the warm trend and like the sunset trend which is really nice I have so many of those so this I think is a nice kind of palette to kind of break that up and what I think is really cool about this, because I have seen a few reviews, you can still get a decently like warm eyeshadow look with this palette. Even though there are some really fun green shades, I think that you can still do a very neutral look with this if you wanted to. So that's something I really appreciate because I honestly don't know how much I'm gonna wear these shades like Axis and Untamed and Electric and stuff like that, but I'm so, so excited to dig into this. So. If you're curious about the packaging, it seems to be the same modern renaissance. 
except they went with a darker color so hopefully we'll be able to keep this clean there is a little bit of a mirror in here I never really use palette mirrors and then of course comes with the plastic to protect it and then here are the beautiful 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 shades I just uh, you get such a high from brand new palettes it's insane I almost don't want to swatch this but I am going to it seems to be that everything in here is matte except for cube electric and adorn so that's interesting but I think we'll be able to do some really nice smoky looks with this palette and I just think it's going to be a great palette for fall and I think it will pair really well with this. Is I noticed on here that the shelf life of this palette is six months and it is cruelty free. I'm actually really shocked because I never noticed that about the Anastasia palettes and this one says six months too and the Mario one is six months and the self made palette is six months and the World Traveler palette is also six months so that's kind of shocking because I did a swatch video with the Kat Von D um, Glimmer palette and I almost like ripped Kat Von D a new one because that palette is a nine month shelf life and I never realized that Anastasia's was only six months which is crazy because six months is like half a year and nobody ever gets through an eyeshadow palette in half a year unless this is the only eyeshadow palette you own which is fine but that's not my case at all so that's really really interesting I never knew that about these palettes or I never really noticed it about these palettes so yeah maybe I should be decluttering these I don't know <laughs> I was watching um what's her name T makeup by tiffany d she was talking about how she like declutters palettes and she pays attention to the expiration and she was like you know it go it really does get in your eye eyeshadow really does get in your eye and you don't want to get some kind of infection or anything by using old palettes and i was like yeah but like you can't just get rid of them so let me know what you guys think like should we just be getting rid of things as soon as the expiration is up because I don't and most people don't I don't think. This palette is an essential eyeshadow collection with 14 chains featuring grungy mattes and bold metallics with underground edge. And this is what the box looks like as well. I mean very similar to the Modern Renaissance box. I don't know if I have that somewhere but anyway very cute. I love the green and green is like one of my favorite colors so that was exciting. Let's get into the swatches. Okay so the first shade I'm going to swatch is Cube and this one is like typically what I would use as a brow bone highlight um, and it's really pretty and it actually has this amazing shift to pink which you can't tell just by looking at it but let me see if I can show you in the swatch so maybe you actually even wouldn't use this as a brow bone highlight because it's basically like a pink on my hand hopefully you guys can see that that one didn't swatch very like pigmented. Next shade is Dawn and it's a beautiful peachy color. These are typically what I use to like set my eye eyeshadow primer if I wear any eyeshadow primer. Next shade is Destiny and this is like a pukey army khaki green color. That one swatched like butter. Next is Adorn and this is one of the shimmer shades in the palette. Typical like bronzy you know We've seen that color like a million times, but it's almost like essential in every eyeshadow palette because you need a good metallic lid shade if you're going to do something like nighttime appropriate. I feel like you always want to incorporate a nice metallic eyeshadow. Look at this pigmentation. This is called All Star and it's a beautiful burgundy shade. Burgundy like wine shade. Super pretty. I need to stop doing that because all these shadows are pretty. <laughs> But I just can't help myself with my swatch videos. I'm always like, it's super pretty. God, shut up, Karen. Okay, next shade is Mercury. This is definitely different for me. It's like a grayish. That's what I would describe it as. There it is. Very, very pigmented. I'm loving the pigmentation on these. And then we got Axis, which is basically the color of the box, I would say. Oh. So pigmented. <gasps> Are you serious right now? Look at that shade. Holy balls. Okay, and then next row we have Roxy, which is a pretty peachy color. These are swatching so well. I actually don't remember the Anastasia 
like eyeshadows being so buttery. It's insane. Okay, this is the other shimmer in the palette. It's called Electric, and it's like a duochrome, metallic. Well, actually, it's not really duochrome. It's more like a shimmer with gold green flecks. So this is the shade Fudge. Ah! Butter. This is actually, I think, already part of their permanent line. Tell me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure. Okay, next is the shade New Wave. Wow. It's like a pumpkin color. Next is Untamed. It's another pretty green shade. Wow, look at these swatches. And then I have Edge, which is like a pretty mustardy shade. Right there. And then the last shade is Rowdy. Oh God, look at that, it's so buttery. Oh. Boom. These are so fun. Like, this is like my fall wardrobe colors. Like, just, ugh. I can't wait to play with this palette. They are such buttery shades. I'm so, so excited. Hopefully you guys got a chance to pick this palette up as well. I just saw it's in stock at Dillard, Dillard's? Dill, Dillard's? I don't know how to say that. Um, but I believe it's sold out on the ABH website. Um, but I'm sure they'll restock, and I did see that this palette is permanent as well. Okay, guys, that is it for my swatch party on the new Subculture palette. I will have a review coming up for you guys soon. And, of course, a get ready with me. I really want to show you guys this palette in action on my eyeballs. So hopefully I will be able to find some time to do that. I'm so sorry. I've had so many swatch videos go up, but... It's so nice for me to film those when I get the palette right away because I know you guys are also wanting to see the swatches of the palette and like my initial thoughts. And like I said, I have quite a few ABH palettes so I can kind of gauge like how good the palette is just by swatching them. I'm not saying that should be your only reason to go buy this palette, definitely watch other reviews. But from everything I've seen, it's pretty positive. Um, on this new palette and uh, I have to definitely agree so there they are there you have it those are my live swatches thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe down below and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it I usually upload every other day so you get content from me pretty often thank you so much for your time and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week bye guys